Hello again peeps, gratuitous foot shot, you're getting sick of it yet? This is what I've been up to today, not a lot, stripping a bit of wire, I spent a couple of hours in here today, stripping some wire, I've got to go and do some shopping, do some deliveries in a minute, so we'll see what uh, comes along. Did have a little tickle this morning. Electrician down the road, been doing some wiring apparently, because there was a bucket of this just sitting there. Okay, it's not a lot, but there's a couple of kilos there. There's probably two kilos sitting there by the time it's stripped. It's a tenner in it. Better than nothing. Remember, folks, Royal Society for the halting of like button envy. Please give generously. Um, I didn't get a chance to do any video in last night. It was by the time I'd finished, it was dark, and uh, unfortunately, I'm not set up for video in the dark. On the way home from doing some uh, shopping drops, I don't know if you can see that because I can't see bugger in my screen thanks to the sun. Well, you know, it's the UK, I'm not used to sun. Nice leaf blower there, pick that up on the way back. One big drop on the way back. Microwave, TV, a couple of hedge trimmers. Now, the question is do I just chop off the couple of quids worth of cable or do I test them out and give them to somebody? Uh, bit on the rusty side. There's an awful lot of cable sitting on the back of that one. What's this one like? Ugh. Yeah, spiders, rusty. That's cable fodder if ever I saw it. Oh, now I've got spiders' eggs in my car. Yicky. What else are we up to today? Well, in a while, I shall be getting the old cable stripper going and running some nice thick decent cable through it I've been having a bit of a sort out and I've come across in my vast stocks of uh, crap some cooker cable and some that's old twin and earth so I'll be stripping that later and running it through this that's the sort of this is the sort of size cable this wire stripper prefers. I ran some through yesterday as a test and it's big enough to get onto the knurled part of the uh, you put it inside the stripper. It cuts it lovely and you can tell when it's cutting with this stuff because this stuff is, where's the end of it if I can show you, I don't know I'm going to be able to, no, typical. This stuff is actually multi-strand inside it and you can feel when the cutting wheel is cutting through the plastic and into the metal because it vibrates slightly. To let you know. Can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know if you can make that out. It's multi-strand inside, it's not single core. And when you get down to the point where the cutting wheel is actually cutting through the plastic and just catching the metal, you can feel this start to vibrate as it goes over the strands. So you can set this up and adjust it while you're running. You can just run it backwards and forwards until it's just right. Little tip I found out there. Hopefully that'll uh, help a few people out. If it does, give generously. Hello peeps, we've gone high tech today, let me tell you. Let's see if I can get this light further up. Look at that, we've got a magnetic clamp up on the, oh, everything's upside down. We've got a magnetic clamp up on the, I don't bloody know, up there somewhere. And uh, I'm going to be running some cable for you in some snazzy overhead shot that I've got with this magnet clamp thing of mine. Hopefully this is going to work. It probably won't now, but as you can see, run it through nice and slow. Give it a little pull. Once it's going, you can speed up. You don't want to go too fast. Really, what you don't want to do is have a really long cable run like I've got at the moment. I really should have cut this down. This is about 20 foot bloody long. Oh my god. Yeah, really should have cut this down. Yeah, take your advice. I tell you to cut it down into length, and I go and run through a massive length like this. And again, this could be one of those fortuitous moments when I uh, get it right. It probably won't, but uh, at least the camera hasn't fell off the roof yet. Let's have a look, shall we? How have we done? Oh, look at that. I'm good. Well, okay. Face it, I'm lucky. But yeah, what do you want? Oh, look at that! Lovely, 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 jubbly. Oh, dear me! 
Oh, now I've got this camera mount. I'm going to be giving Pop Scraps a run for his money. I doubt it, I wouldn't worry about it, geez. I can't stay half intelligent sounding for more than about five minutes before I slip up and go back into my natural state of being a dickhead. Well, there we go. That took, what, two minutes, including all the useless waffle? Where are we? Oh, I've got to work backwards, upside down and back to front. It's, it's, it's actually more difficult with two hands. When you've just got one hand, it's just one thing to think about. Now I've got to coordinate. Ow! See what I mean? Right, where's the scales? And I've put the scales in a place that's safe so I could use them when I needed them. I don't know where that place is. Oh, it's on the floor. Obviously, where we keep everything. See how much we got there. Ooh, there Can I zoom the right way? Let's move that back a bit. Oh, Ooh, bugger me. No, I mean, not literally, obviously. Can you see that? Is it upside down? I've got a feeling it's upside down. There we go. How's that? Apart from totally wrong. Ah, for God's sake. It's always something. Let's tear that out. And wait again. Now, to me, that says 520. Oh, God. What's happened there? Focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, as Abe would say, focus you fuck. Right, there we go, what's that? That's either 561. Well, oh, it's still on tear, why is it still on tear? Yeah, go live and everything goes tits up. Right, okay, that's on grams. Right, I know it's up, why are you changing? Don't be stupid, how can you be on minus two? We did a fly land on you and fly off. Right, I know this is upside down, but I'm trying my best here, right? Which is not very good, as my wife would attest to. 220 grams. That's nearly a quarter of a kilo. That's about pound twenty-five worth of cable. I know some people out there like to work back in time it took. So it took what to strip that? Without all the useless waffle and the scale switching off right in the middle of things, it took... Two minutes, two minutes times 30 to give you an hour. One pound 20 times times 30, that's 30 pounds something an hour. I don't, I don't work like that. How I work is, ooh. Hang on, let's zoom back out again. I was just getting confusing. Two hands, two hands. It's so difficult having two hands. Anybody out who's only got one hand, you lucky bastards. Well, as long as it's your right hand, you lucky bastards. If it's your left hand, then you know, you're in trouble. But. I look at it like, mmm, copper, nice. I'll see you a bit later, folks. I'm going to do the rest of it by myself because I've got to concentrate on having two hands. One hand and a camera, I can just about manage, as you can tell by the crap video that I've been doing for, where is it? That way? No, I, don't know. I don't know. Like that. I think that's up the right way. Camera's upside down. God, dear. Two hands and a camera. Too much for me. I'm out.